Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we will be painting this Halloween special, some pumpkins and a big huge moon. And I hope you will f have fun with this one. This You can use it as a card and also as bookmarks or a painting just to give someone for Halloween. And well, pretty simple and easy. And I'm starting off with making my sketch. And this sketch is so simple. so. There is no one for download. I think you should definitely do it yourself. And also the pumpkins that don't have to be the same as mine. You can paint your own pumpkins with your own expressions, face expressions. So just give your imagination or freedom to do whatever it wants. So I'm going to draw three, three pumpkins and well, with some teeth, one will be very scared. It's Halloween after all and two bigger ones and one smaller one and huge huge moon and for drawing that i used just some old cup from cheese i think you can use whatever you like to paint a circle and in front of that moon i will paint a tree and it will be a tree that is going down somewhat creepy tree with his branches going towards the pumpkins and that is basically it quite simple and yet perfect for halloween special and when finished with my sketch i'm using needed a razor artist razor just to remove the excess graphite need to make it lighter this time because it doesn't have to be we're going to use quite dark colors but just to make it lighter and after that, I am privetting the paper and where the moon, around the moon actually, and beneath where the ground is. And if you do have masking fluid, you can mask your moon. And I did not want to do that because I know not many of you or not all of you don't have masking fluid. So I wanted to show you that this one is definitely doable without masking fluid or masking marker. But if you do have one, you can mask the edges maybe of the moon and make it somewhat easier easier for yourself. For painting the sky, I am using quite dark colors. This is black that I've mixed just a little bit of blue in it and also just a little bit of brown. And it doesn't even matter if you go onto your pumpkins because they're going to be black also. But just try to avoid the mouth and eyes because them are going to be lighter and we do want them to stand out looking as though there are some candles in pumpkins. So just try to avoid those. And even if you go onto your pumpkin doesn't matter and the ground is also quite dark painted in same color and as you can see i'm not trying to make the sky or the ground one even wash i am wiggling my brush and doing this wiggly wiggly motions because i do want some texture on it i do want it to look as though some parts are a little bit darker and some a little bit lighter maybe lightened illuminated by the moon so i'm not trying to make an even wash also same thing in the sky not really trying to make it completely the same and around the pumpkins i will leave it a little bit lighter because i do want that part to look a little bit lighter i don't want it to all be just black and then pumpkins of course wouldn't be visible so part around pumpkins is just a little bit lighter and other parts of the sky around the moon are quite dark and also the ground and now i've added just a little bit more of brown so this color is going a little bit on the brown side so maybe if you don't want that you can use only dark well, you can use black or maybe add just a little bit of blue in it if you want to go onto that side. And when I finished with sky, I'm just sprinkling some clean water. This is clean water because I did want it to do a little bit more texture to the sky. And also I left the part just around the moon a little bit lighter. When it all dried completely, I moved on to painting the moon and I'm really painting it quite light and I don't want it to be dark. I do want it to look very, very bright. But I did not also want it to make to leave it just completely white. I did want it to add a little bit more texture to that. So I did paint it again with the same colors that I used for the sky, but just a little bit lighter with using just a little bit more water or I should say a lot more water. 
and when finished with that I moved on to painting the pumpkins and also used that that same color black with a little bit brown in it and also a little bit blue in it and I'm going just around the eyes and mouth because as I said I do want them to be a very very light so I've painted around it with this dark color and leaving them pretty light. Again, adding just a little bit more texture to the moon because when it dries completely, it will be a little bit lighter. So I do want it some texture on it. And now that the, the pumpkins are completely dry, I'm moving on to painting the eyes and, well, I suppose the mouth. Actually, those are lights from the from the candle that is inside and I'm painting them in yellow and then on corners adding this lighter brown this is something like burnt sienna I would say and adding a little bit more of the yellow so when I finished that it was it was looking too dark to me with no any any real real highlight so I decided to pick up a little bit of the paint so as you could have seen I've used my brush and pick up a, just a little bit of the paint on the corners to make them white and with that I'll be finishing off with my pumpkins and I left it to dry completely and the moon should be dry also completely because if you go painting the tree onto the moon that is still wet it will bleed and I did not want it to bleed I wanted to well my tree to have sharp edges so I left it to dry completely and when it did dry I moved on to painting the tree and for the tree I am using a little bit smaller round brush but you can use any brush that you feel comfortable painting with maybe some brush with a quite pointy tip round brush with a pointy tip so you can when you press it down you can make thicker branches and when you pick it up you can make thinner branches and if you don't have that sort of brush or don't feel comfortable painting with any that sort of brush well you can use a script brush as I do I do love painting branches with a script brush it just gives me so much freedom and I do feel very very comfortable because when I press it harder I can make a little bit thicker branches and when I pick it up I can make very 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 thin lines with it so I do love to wiggle with my brush also and I do love painting branches if you're watching my videos you probably already noticed that I do really love painting branches and very very thin lines with a script brush. And those branches are actually the final detail on my painting. I'll be finishing off with that. Thank you guys a lot for watching, for all your support. I hope you do like this one. This is a Halloween special, so Halloween is very, very close and near. So maybe, well, try painting this one, maybe on a Halloween night. It's Saturday, so it could be fun. Why not? It's quite simple. So if you're a beginner, you should definitely try it. It is very, very simple and, well, easy. And again, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share it, comment. If you haven't still, well, subscribe to my channel. What are you waiting for? And if you want to go even step further, maybe consider joining my channel, press the join button next to the subscribe, listen to the offer, and then decide whether or not you want to join. There are some cool videos there also in real time. So I think it's definitely worth it. And well, thank you again so much for watching. Happy Halloween and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.